as you can see, I'm in my shed. So that means we're gonna do a bit of a DIY episode. Welcome back, another episode of Last Minute Living. As you can see, I'm in my shed, so that means we're gonna do a bit of a DIY episode. Um, so obviously, you've seen my um, June box that's got basically all my essentials in there. Uh, so what I did at the top is I'd put a bungee cord, like that. I feed it through the top of the lid since it's uh, double walled. Uh, and that allows me to basically put things like I've got my axe there and I also have my dustpan brush. Um, so that just makes it super accessible. Uh, so what I'm gonna do here is I've got a bit of an idea to make some sort of a, a kitchen box. I've seen an episode on Seek Adventure. So I'll drop his video uh, down below because it's a great video, check it out. He's got some wicked ideas, awesome YouTube videos. Um, so basically, I'm gonna sort of put my sort of spin on that. So let's see what we got. Uh, I got a few little purchases that I bought the other day. Um, so we'll we'll get them out. I'll show you, give you my first impressions on them, and then we'll crack into it. All right. So part of our little purchases here, um, I bought this yesterday, which is supposedly two in one according to Kings. So. This is my first edition um, from Kings. Apparently you can use this as a cutting board, which makes a lot of sense to be fair. Uh, but it's basically just a collapsible sink. So that's basically for, for your dishes, which is super handy. But what I have found out is that if I get this, I can basically put that in there and that basically sits perfectly. And that is a 50 liter, that's a 50 liter June storage box. So that fits quite snug, which is really good, super handy. So when you're actually using it, I'm gonna put it like that. I've also got a little chopping board here, which I just found around the house, which also very lucky happens to sit perfectly there. So that can slide around, that can lock in there, you know, if you need it for whatever. Uh, so that'll be that'll be super handy in case I want to use that for you know cutting up veggies or something like that. You can always just cut there and, and, and chuck it in there, you know. So that's super good, especially if you want to wash them or something like that. So we've got those two. What else do we have in here? Um, <clears throat> so these are just a few little bits and pieces. I'll um, get to those later because the idea is I'm going to have these sort of sitting up there. So they're going to sit up there with that bungee cord. Um, and then, yeah, that'll be obviously next to it. Uh, but on in here we got, this is another purchase that I got from Kings while I was there the other day. Um, basically, this is just a, um, just a little, little picnic kit, nothing too fancy. But surprisingly, uh, it's actually, I've, I've opened it up already. The, the cutlery there, super super good super high quality it actually feels got some decent decent weight behind it which is um something you always look for um six cups i'm never going to need that many but considering the price you're just better off to get it uh so it comes with six cups six plates six bowls and a bottle opener because you always need a bottle opener um so yeah basically that's what i have gathered the bag actually is not too bad too it's not not hard so it's quite soft so it is probably I suppose like flimsy in terms of packing but um, considering I'm putting it in that box it's gonna work perfect it's basically just gonna divide um, all the bits and pieces so yeah basically now I'm gonna get on to showing you how I managed to get all my bungee cord sort of through here and only through one side not having to go through the back um, it took me a while to work it out, but uh, yeah, we got there. So I'll show you guys how I did that and we'll do a bit of a creation and then we'll see what it looks like with all the kit inside of it. 
All right, so something I clearly forgot to do when I finished my last thing. Uh, so you can see there on that bungee cord, see how that's frayed? So because it's nylon, this stuff will just literally keep pulling apart. So definitely to make sure, get yourself a lighter. You want to light that and that basically will shrink that all down and seal that off like that. It's going to make it super easy or not really super easy because it's still hard, but it'll make it a lot easier when you're feeding it through to be able to pull it through. Because if that's all over the shop, it's going to basically just keep keep coming down, 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 and you'll lose that integrity on the top there. So done that. So now I'm just going to drill the holes and then I'll show you how I feed it through, which is the most difficult part. Took me a while to work it out, but I think I've got a plan that somewhat works. All right, so first things first, you want to mark out your holes. Um, up the top here, I'm planning to do um, sort of, this is probably not gonna work, but anyway. Oh yeah, you can see it. So there and there, I'm only doing those because I'm gonna have one going sort of across there. So that's basically gonna have two going this way to allow you to mount stuff going that way. And then down the bottom is gonna be upright, which is gonna be for, like I showed you before, um, you put like your salts, your peppers, you know, your different spices, stuff like that. Um, maybe in a couple of sauce bottles and um, we'll see how that goes. And then, yeah, we'll get to drilling and then we'll feed through the bungee cord. And fingers crossed, all will go to plan and we won't be here too long. All right, back with something a little more useful. Sharpie. There, there. That one, that one. I'm going to leave this side. Uh, and then I'm gonna go here, here, maybe in the middle there, maybe there, and then I might do there and do some bigger ones and see how that goes. And then finish that off there. So that's where I'm marking it. That top, we've got a spatula, it's gonna go up there, which will be sort of first grab with your barbecues and things like that. And then down here, like I said, sauces, maybe some herbs, spices, whatever I decided to put in there. And then, um, yeah, we'll see what goes. So there we are, first hole. That was really hard to drill with one hand because I'm holding GoPro in the other, but that's the idea. Try to get the, the hole pretty much as close to your bungee cord as possible. I think I'm using an eight and a half. You still want some wiggle room, but um, you don't really need too much. You just want a little bit. So that's what I'm going with. I may or may not need to drill that a bit wider. I'll see how I go. And then I'll do these top ones. We'll smash that out. And then that bottom one, drill all of those and, and we'll feed it through. I'll show you how, how it's done. So obviously the biggest drama with this is once you get through that, through that first one and feed it down, you're now going to struggle to basically get it out of there. So what I did basically, luckily they're sitting there waiting for me, which is super handy. Um, so I grabbed these, basically grabbed a cable tie can use them for anything just as you can see here basically fold it in half like that so fold it like that make a little loop basically that loop is now going to go into the second hole feed that in there and then the idea is to then feed the bungee cord through the top and sort of direct it down in hopes that that's going to go through the middle of that and then once that's through and you because you can kind of see as you're doing it and once that's through just sort of yank it through and then that's how you do it so obviously you've got to tie you've got to tie an end on uh tie a knot on one end and then feed it through but what i found is if i feed it through first get it through there tie the knot then pull that tight to however tight you want because obviously if you've got bigger bigger items that you're going to be putting in there. You don't want it as tight. You still want a little bit of leeway. Also, the ease of getting it in and out. So 
is make sure you sort of got a bit of a plan of what you're going to put there. So I've, I've worked out roughly what I'm going to be putting so I know how much slack to give in the bungee cord. Obviously, it will it will stretch to a certain extent, but um, if you if you don't leave it the space, you're just going to be making it hard for yourself to, to put what you want to put there. So um, yeah, I'm going to give it a crack and hopefully maybe I'll try and get a better angle for you guys to be able to see what I'm doing. All right, so I kind of missed an important point but i just figured it out so luckily we've worked that one out before we try to do anything so what i did miss out was you actually are going to need two holes so you can't do one because if you feed it through and feed it back out you've got to feed it back through again so what i'm going to try and do is i might put a hole next to it feed it through to this one and then feed it through to here and then do the same there so to sort of create like an S, but you need to have the knot on top. It needs to go under and then come out. So then it can come out to create the loop. Uh, so here, down the bottom will be fine because I'll basically just put a knot here and a knot here and then through from there to 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 there. All those will basically be usable and you'll just have these ones in the middle won't be because obviously you need to go down and then back up again. I could probably put another one if I wanted to, but I'm not really gonna bother with that because I don't really need too much space. So I'm gonna drill a couple more holes here, a couple more holes here, and then hopefully we'll be ready to go. All right, let's try again. What I might do, I might do this bottom one first because I know that that's probably gonna be the easier one. I think you can see everything I'm doing here. So I'll put this through. And hopefully, this is a super handy bit about being hollow because it does travel this way. So obviously, if you've got something that's solid behind, so depending on what box you're going to use, it may or may not work because if obviously if it's solid, you can't feed anything behind it. So with some luck, this is actually a little bit harder to see. I might drill, I might drill them out a bit. A bit. So I'm not too worried about how the how the circles are. Um, they don't have to be. They don't have to really be circle. So just as long as it gives you enough room to get this bungee cord through. So let's try again. See how we go. It's all trial and error. No surprise really. Probably should have had a better game plan, but this is how I did it the first time. Being a brain surgeon. Okay, so that's gone through now. If I can just commit it to go a bit further on. <coughs> there we go. So that's one. That's basically the general idea of what I'm gonna continue to do. It'll come through, the feedback through there. Bring it over to the next one. Repeat the process until we get to the other end. So this is probably gonna take a while. So I might just time lapse it and then you guys will be able to see what I'm doing very quickly and briefly. But I'll do all the struggle, you just do all the watching and then we'll come back and I'll show you how we're gonna tie it off and, and sort of finish it off. And just like that, through definitely no struggle at all, uh, we've feed it all through. So that's all fed through. That one's long. So basically, what I'm going to do here, I'll tie a knot there. I'll pull it through um, to the point where, you know, leave a bit of gap for, for whatever I'm throwing in there. Like, uh, if I can find my little salt shakers, you know, like, these are going to go in there. So I want to leave 
want to leave a little bit of room to the point where they're not, you know, so at least somewhat secure. So that's probably good there. Gives you a little bit of stretch just to get it in and out. So I have that there. I'll have the pepper there. I'll have something else there. I might even leave that a little bit further out. This one will obviously come in. That's way too long. Um, yeah, so I'll just tie that off and then basically that'll be one lot done. And then we'll go up here and then I'll put some of the stuff in there and we'll see how it looks. So try and get that as close to the edge as possible. Just saves on the bungee cord there. But you don't really want a big tail hanging out, so something like that. Perfect. That's all you need. You just want to stop it going through the hole. That's part of the big reason why you don't want such a big hole because if you do drill it too big, that's going to fall through. So you're just going to have to probably tie it a couple more times, which isn't a huge drama, but it's probably better to have the struggles of trying to fit it through the smaller hole to make it easier to tie the knot. And then that way you can basically feed the rest of this through. Get rid of that, I don't need that anymore. And then that will then become, what do you want, something like that maybe. Like that. Maybe something like that, I'll just test that. That's where that's gonna go. That's why it's important to have sort of a plan. Where you're going to put the stuff give it a little bit of a little bit of space to breathe and that'll probably do it there the same with this one Probably try and match it pretty similar, I reckon. Something like that. Maybe get some spice or a, I don't know, a sauce or something. Then that one there, leave there. So that's probably gonna be for uh, my tongs. I've got a pair of tongs. And then actually, they're gonna be a pair of scissors. So that'll be good there. Make it a bit tighter. And then happy days. That's pretty much it. So now, I'll basically tie a knot in the end here, cut it, use the spare for up here. So I'll do that now. All right, so just tied a knot there. That's all in perfect how I want it. Cut that end off, use the lighter, and then I'll work on how I'm gonna do this one. So I'll show you that for sure. All right, so I'm gonna drill these. <laughs> So you can actually see, like if you look at the indent of the, the box, you've actually got a hell of a lot of space. So if you fill this box up to the top, you're actually wasting a lot of that lid. So this is why I chose to do it. Like I said, I saw it on um, <coughs> Sheik Adventure. He does a, he's got a really cool setup. The box that he's got is a lot bigger than mine as well, uh, and it's a King's one, which doesn't really matter, but um, mine's a lot smaller. Obviously, I don't need as much as probably what he's taken, so this is going to be more than enough for me, especially with that six-person um, six set, which I might even take half of it out because um, most of the time I'm not going to need it, especially between me and Seldy. We've obviously got a lot of double ups, but this is mainly for when I'm doing things by myself when he's not he's not there. So um, yeah, this will definitely come in handy. So now we're just gonna work on this top part. Um, the big trick with these ones that was causing a lot of drama is um, the ripples here. So that sort of replicates on the inside. So it was getting stuck on things, uh, but these ones here, there's no actual um, there's nothing between them, so it should be a little bit easier. Well, that's what I'm hoping anyway. So we'll give it a crack and we'll see how we go. Right, so plan is, oh, it doesn't really matter which way I go, I suppose. I might go this way for that one. Feed that across to there. Hopefully that will go through. 
a lot less pain free than the last ones. No, maybe not. See, and that's why I wanted it a little bit more, but it wasn't going to go. So you want to make sure that the cord goes actually through the cable tie, because if you just catch the end of it and you pull through, it's just going to slide back into the box, which has happened a couple times there, because it doesn't seem to want to go further. There we go, that's clean. Then go back down this one, out this other one here. Feed that back. Feed that back. So I've only got a spatula. If I can find it, I did put it somewhere. Here it is. So that is going to go there. So it actually fits relatively well in that little groove. So that's going to have to be pretty tight. So something like that would probably be good. And obviously there'll be another one there holding that in. So tie that off, put that there, put the next one in. And then we'll be ready to fill the box back up and we'll show you what we're left with. So here we are, the last one is done. Just gonna tie it off there. I don't know if you can see it in the time lapse, but I actually forgot to uh, use the lighter on that one. So after I thread it through there and pulled it through here, the whole top of it was all frayed. You can see like it's pretty messy, where if I'd have done it beforehand, it probably wouldn't be that bad. So I actually had a bit of trouble getting it through that hole and then back out there. Um, but I got it anyway, so that's cool. I'll tie this one off. Do the same with the, the end there. Uh, looks like I'll have probably about two or three meters left over. So that'll probably come in handy somewhere else. But uh, until then, I'll get that done and then I'll show you what we're putting in. So there it is guys, pretty happy with how it turned out, uh, it actually works pretty well. Got, like I said, I got my spatula there, a bit of salt and pepper, scissors and uh, some tongs. Probably just need to tighten that one up a little bit, so I'll tighten that up, probably cut that. I don't know, it's all in place, it's not really going anywhere, which that's probably, like, it might slip out sort of, you know, a bit, a bit down the track, but um, really, really it's not too bad. So. Not bad for sort of guessing it the first time, so that's all right. We'll we'll pull that. We'll get that a bit tighter, and then that'll fit. Like I said, I got lucky with um, this chopping board, sort of managing to fit on that inside lip. <clears throat> so you still got like quite a bit of base on it. You know, you can quite easily cut something on there, um, and this sort of sits the same. You know, so that the, the width of those are, are pretty much the same. You could put it on there if you wanted a bit more stability. Um, but I think all in all, with that, that, and obviously the King's um, picnic set, like I said, the, um, the actual build quality of it is pretty good. I would have liked maybe a bit more like of a, um, like a hard shell bag, I suppose, rather than it being sort of soft, but, um, Hey, it's got six cups, six bowls, six plates, knives and forks, and spoons for um, six people as well. And it was like, I think it was like 65 bucks or something like that. So, I mean, to be honest, I think it's actually quite worth the money. Super simple. Six is more than enough for most people. This little collapsible sink is awesome. It does have a little plug here too. Probably forgot to mention that. So you can just sort of, sort of flick that up. So that's that's on its drain drain mode. 
just sort of sits there like that. And then when you want to plug it, you just drop it down like that. So that's pretty cool little little feature. Uh, I was gonna basically run a pipe from there down to the um, the bottom there, but I think it's probably a little bit unnecessary. Um, just for for what I'm probably the amount of times that I'm going to be using this obviously this is sort of more of an off-grid kind of thing but like I said you can use it for for other things like this doubles as a as a chopping board pretty sturdy there so so that's cool so basically how it's all going to pack in is I've got a couple tea towels a bit of uh, olive oil spray or canola oil spray you know for when you're doing a barbecue or whatever but um, basically that stuff will start there. And then picnic kit in there fits pretty much perfectly, which is awesome. Love maximizing the space. I'll probably still put a few bits and pieces in there. Uh, maybe a couple of bigger, bigger knives. Um, probably maybe some sauce, stuff like that. Um, so there will be a few little extras in there. Uh, I do have a little um, canvas bag that I've got left over from Chaos 4x4. So I'll probably throw that in there. And then this chopping board will slide somewhere on top there. And then this shuts just like that. Latch them up. Just like that, we're ready to go. So that'll be in the back of my car very shortly. All right guys, uh, hope you enjoyed this little uh, DIY episode uh, something a little bit different we do want to do kind of a bit more stuff like that uh, we're always upgrading the cards there's always something going on usually so um, we'll be doing a bit of that I know seldy has got a couple things uh, in mind that we'll be filming probably for the next few weeks few months something like that uh, we're gonna try and keep the content rolling for you it's pretty pretty hard to stay on top of but uh, we've got a couple cool little little episodes that are a little bit left field but um, we hope you get a, a good watch out of them. And if you are enjoying these videos, give us a like, give us a subscribe. And uh, we're, we're now chasing uh, 1,000 subscribers. Um, so we hit 100. We're nearly at 200, which is super cool. So if you don't mind jumping on there, it's totally free. Jump on, give us a subscribe. We'll get that number to 200, and then we'll start working our way at the big 1,000. Um, but yeah, thanks for the support guys. Really good. Uh, we'll probably have some merch coming out soon. So, uh, stay tuned for that and, um, yeah, keep on living and we'll, we'll catch you on the next one. See you guys.